Well hi guys, um, this is me Snakebite and uh, welcome to a little display video which I thought I would set up um, to promote some of the builds that I've done uh, in and around Somnium Space. So we'll just run through a few of my folders to show you the sort of builds that I've been designing. And here is the Baytree Convention Center. It's a very straightforward build, very square build, but uh, it's got some unique features inside. If we go around to the rear of the build, we have an entrance area which leads into a sort of communal meeting space. And then when you're ready for your meetings, you will travel up a staircase behind this wall and you'll come into one that I've themed here as a Tesla build just to show you what a company could do. They could send me a load of imagery and I can theme a build. And then again, the floor above is another view area with meeting uh, space, the long board table with seating around it on the next floor up. This floor also actually has a media center so uh, you can run video pieces. As you see, I have playing there. Um, and uh, we are soon to actually have a PDF design um, in the uh, capability of these media centers. So uh, you'll be able to run slideshows whilst giving a narrative. Stepping back slightly from the build, you can see the uh, next floor up with the blue seating. Um, but the top floor is a main auditorium with stage. Now, the media board that's down here in this office, I can relocate anywhere in the plot. So if you wanted, you could have a whole group of people up here. Certainly a capability of 100 plus, I would think, standing there in the auditorium. Of course, they'd be seated at home or wherever they are online with their VR facilities. Um, and there's just out of shot here, there's a stage. Um, but I could easily mount the video screen on the back wall here. And you could also then have a group of people here and do a PDF slide presentation or media film uh, show, YouTube videos, those sort of things, and uh, just present it on the media screen. So that's a little bit about the Bay Tree Center. This is another view of the Tesla floor. And the downstairs meeting area with the uh, overlay now of red leather rather than having the plain white sofas that were in the first section there. And that's the Baytree Convention Center. So if you just have a word with somniumspace.com, then you can uh, contact us and we can arrange your company uh, to actually make use of those facilities. This is a, a quick little build next door along, which is uh, the Castle Hex, as I call it. It's only a little hexagonal uh, footprint of ground with some plants and trees around it, some stairs to interior areas, and another interior flight to the roof space. And uh, this, I just basically put historical information about castles on the inside. So you can walk around that as a sort of a museum and uh, read all about the uh, history of certain castles and there's a, an aerial top view looking down it's a lot uh, more fleshed out now signs up and we've got various bits and bobs in here now but uh, that's a quick uh, hexagonal sort of build this is a, a client headquarters um, start with that one client headquarters that I built for a, a client just recently in fact he had uh, various things he wanted to promote. He quite liked the abstract triangular design. It's on an XL plot, so an extra large plot. And our plots are designed to hold about 850 points uh, worth of build. A uh, medium plot is 400 and a small plot is 150 in points. So uh, we have to be uh, quite um, constructive <laughs> in how we use certain points. Uh, on our plots but um, that's the exterior of the build but of course their main uh, advert slightly darkened because they were on white boards and we tended to uh, lose the imagery so uh, we darkened them slightly um, 
and it'll focus up there we go and this is a rooftop section i have what they call visual scripting going on here so just out of sight down here you have a plate that you can walk onto click one of your vr controllers and it'll bring a sort of a lift up to the surface and then you can walk out onto the rooftop terrace and again you can meet people relax have a chat after your meetings etc etc and take in the views of the other builds another external shot you can just make out part of an aquarium which i've built inside and covers a good three quarters of say this wall but at the other end downstairs just coming in from the entrance you have the welcoming mat but uh, it was one of the logos there uh, we have again visual scripted boards one for nectar sports traveling top to bottom and one for morio invictus which travels from bottom to top uh, there's now a couple of plants one each side rather than one in the center again i've overlaid their logo onto tables and the red leather effect uh, sofas with a merchant area over the back so when our sdk builder is released they'll actually be able to place goods on the shelves there and sell them from within the build promoting their company this is the uh, next, no, two floors up, my bold. They're above the auditorium. And uh, this is the aquarium. It's now on the wall to our left. Um, I've moved it over for them. They wanted it to be slightly larger. And I said, you're going to cover the window. So uh, we swapped that to the other end. Little bar, complete, faintly see that there. A couple of little hand pulleys for the bar for some drafts. You've got some popcorn machine in the corner and uh, various logos this central one again is visual scripted so when you're in the room it travels very slowly up and down the screen chrissy is one of their nfts their promotional nfts so it's on the wall there so uh, and again of course the carpet area here as well this is a view from inside the auditorium lots changed actually in this we now have designs on these handrail panels the floor pieces here, the boards between the levels, they're all now carpeted. We have plush red leather edging, um, but the promotional boards are there. Oh, and the screen's on a gold background instead of purple. So we've been doing a few tailoring changes, modifications. Again, downstairs, view from the merchanting uh, side through to the bar downstairs and to the entry and exit sections. And uh, that gives you an idea of that client's build. So let's pop back up one more and we'll go along to client gallery. Now, this is a build I was asked to do for a client and he said oh, he wanted something different. A lot of people were having galleries made, etc., within the world of Somnium space. And uh, he was saying, well, I want mine to stand out a little bit. So I went hunting around online, looked at various modern designs, and uh, I thought, actually, yes, this would be a good one. I'll adapt it slightly. So I have um, got my own twist on it. But um, this is the gallery that uh, we came up with. It was, uh, again, on a medium, so 400 points. And uh, I went for the angled roofs um the one i saw online i think had one angle one way and one angle another way and a load of white pipes holding it all up um so uh, i did the whole thing as uh, one direction and changed from a sort of a gray design to a chocolate brown design and um he seemed very very pleased with this and the various plates there that you can mount your images onto and again, a relaxing area down here where you can meet and greet people. Or if that's just you, then somewhere for you to relax before you go have a tour around or after you've had a tour around. And these are some of the free hanging boards that he can mount his images onto. Some wall mounted plates up on first floor. And again, an external view of the build. Some of these are taken in VR, so slightly blurry. Uh, to bring up on the pc but um gives you an idea anyway of the plot and the design of build client gallery number two wow uh, well we'll start with the basic bit before i added all the roof on it um this is the uh open ground again it's an xl this one and um, i decided to have sort of floating platforms um on uh, mounts here uh, around the plot uh, a unique entrance because 
although you don't see it it's actually surrounded by glass so you can't get into the plot any other way except use the door and i created a disc with this swirly overlay on a disc and there's about 150 discs there going over the top and uh, stone sort of slate um, pillars arching around and going over the top but uh, it gives a fabulous view as you're going into the plot another view you can see some of the wall mounted plates here a couple down there in this one here for very large imagery and there's a couple of others in the smaller floor down there and I've put obviously various uh, relaxation sofas and tables and chairs and so forth scattered around the plot underneath there as well so even if it's raining and yes we will be having weather in Somnium space this is a unique VR world it's way way higher than some of these others you stands head and shoulders above the rest I tell you that the trees as you can see look like trees they have the correct bark tonality the leaves the plant life I mean it's stunning uh, we have dynamic lighting here so uh, you have night and day you have sunrise sunset you have moonshine when the moon comes up over the mountains oh beautiful world to go visit somniumspace.com and then download the client from that web page but uh, I say various things the night view here obviously of the gallery you can see then the glass panels a lot clearer at night but uh, during the day as you can see absolutely gone <laughs> and so you'll go in through there through under the glass panels a couple of uh, first um, picture location plates there on the inside of the wall the other side and then you walk out into the open plan and then got various ramps to the various floors here we have the roof on top with uh, triangular glass panels smoked out with white glass smoke and then a little sort of pirouette piece on the top to uh, finish off the build and again by night and you can have some absolutely stunning views the basic builder uh, still amazes me what you can do with it it really does i'm no professional but um i've got over well probably by the time i finish these lo these other contracts probably over 40 builds now in world and um i'm doing a lot of business with uh with clients to build for them uh, which is nice i enjoy building i like the design aspect uh, as i say i'm amazed at how much you can tailor just by a little bit of thought the basic build program that comes with it um, with that somniumspace.com and what you can do with it here we are inside the main entrance absolutely gorgeous all these are individual little discs all lined up against each other and then slowly going up and over the whole doorway so uh, fabulous effect and you would then come through from the right into this open plan area and you can sit and chat with your friends you go up a ramp to this first deck ramp to the second and then down ramp to the third and various locations for your art pieces so uh, again the client was very happy with this and uh, enjoyed it immensely when he had a little walk around it now i've got a gentleman who's actually selling some land and he said could i do a bit of advertising of what you could do on your plots and so forth so i said yeah sure so he gave me a couple of plots to build on for him so uh, i built him a library with this excel modern theme to another design i was hunting around online and i thought yep i can reproduce that so uh, just copied the outside you can see in the background the other one i'm about to show you which is a villa and uh, i'll show you that one but that's the library just across from the main town center where that little lighthouse is there the town is just to the left of that 
and uh, we're literally on the other side of the map this is something also somnium space is a wide open persistent world uh, you're talking about six kilometers of map scale size um, and this is done in a builder which comes with the program so when you download the client you get the option of the builder as well um, if you own land, you can actually buy land from us as well. Um, and if you want to buy land, then whatever you build, you can actually upload into the world, such as I've done here. Um, if you don't own land, or well, you can still have fun with the builder, we've got three different size test plots there, small, medium, and extra large. And uh, so you can mess about and have a little go with the builder there as well. Um, and also, obviously, with that uh, client, be able to come in and walk around in both 2D and full VR and uh, walk around some of these people's builds that you find in world and some of them are absolutely stunning um, i like my builds obviously i'm biased to them but some builds that people are coming out with absolutely amazing and they've made this out of a basic builder it just blows me away stunning stunning design abilities those people out there but um so this is the library anyway the excel um, and this is all in uh, what I call generally the builder where I take these shots. So um, you could have, you know, a lot of these other plots uh, occupied and all over the back here is really looking a bit like a cityscape now um, throughout the uh, the world. 5,000 plots in all. So um, massive, massive uh, land space and the chance to develop things again another client who liked that gallery this is a, a business build for him um, he wanted it as a meetup area for his company so here we have ground floor big meeting area tables sofas and things like that relaxing area promoting his company which is the Mallorca blockchain days uh, where they promote anything to do with blockchain cryptocurrencies and things like that the second floor is the meeting area with uh, seats for 64 members or visitors, podium, whoever's doing the display or announcement, media screen and some imagery around the walls. And then travelling the rear ramp takes them to the roof terrace area where again more relaxation area and very easy and comfortable area with trees and plant work. The so rear view looking forward of the uh, meeting area and the narrative location where they discuss things centralization or decentralization. So, various points on a nice plush carpet there. Rooftop terrace again, relaxation area, tables, plants, trees you name it nice easy place there to uh, relax and a different sort of design with a glass panel there overlooking the rooftop giving it some protection as i said earlier we will be getting weather patterns um, in the future so we will have rain we will have snow um, so i'm hoping that when they advance the weather systems they'll actually advance the tech of trees so that you actually see the leaves moving in the breeze that would be a brilliant advancement for a vr world but here you're seeing as i say the main meeting house for Mallorca blockchain days so some fabulous bits of builds that he wanted on his plot and i was happy to help him out So I'll travel to the next one, Client Villa. This is the other one alongside that uh, library that uh, I just showed you a moment ago. Here we are, Villa, looking out over all this lovely water and uh, rooftop alfresco eating area or breakfast area even. Angular windows, glass panel at the side there. So it's all sealed in, a bit of decking and... Uh, we can see it from another angle. We can see the views it commands. What a beautiful location. We've uh, already unlocked our um, kayaks. Just waiting for those to be brought into world. So uh, you will see people paddling by in their kayaks. <laughs> Fabulous environment. Absolutely brilliant. And a lovely villa right there on the coastline. And this is inside the upper floor. I found some great drapes textures 
and overlaid them over simple square blocks and just extended them into oblong and layered them fairly flat and placed them up against the windows and it creates a fabulous curtain effect to the room so uh, cracking little uh, villa there on the coast this is another one of uh, the builds for the client um, he wanted after those meetings just behind it that would be where the gallery is that was where the meeting house was i just mentioned and this is another one of the four plots there's also another one here i'll tell you about shortly when we get to it but uh, this one here we wanted it in a sort of a german theme a german beer garden type theme so uh, we have the kalf house uh, family run wine or beer and uh, the benches outside in the typical sort of beer garden environment and you can see the build there some trees all the yellow hooded sunroofs this is inside the calf house you would come up the ramp come in through the door and you would see all the barrels the stewing barrels where the uh, beer matures promotional literature the big storage kegs i love that little sign on his apron it actually says beer is good for you <laughs> love it and of course the tasting kegs mounted in the walls and uh promotional literature and this fabulous little sign there i found that online actually and uh, i thought oh, i've got to put that in there and it says husband daycare center you know if you want to go shopping or if you want to uh, have some time for yourself just drop your husband off here all you'll have to do is pay for his beer <laughs> so i love it love it i thought i'd pop that in as well so again another views sun was obviously just going down there that's a little bit more shadowy that build and uh, there we have again a side view with the ramp and its hand railing as we're going up to go inside and the bench work etc inside view down through the windows close up of the garden brilliant stuff so uh, he was very happy anyway that's the main thing Here's one uh, little image of a, just an earlier builder when I was messing around with the builder. Little Greek temple or a place to sit. I've got a couple of little basic benches there in the background. Marble texture overlay to basic wall that's been stretched wider or longer. And again, triangles and flat panels and so forth. Pillars and uh, some greenery around it with one of the default floor textures, which is a parky wood flooring. And then just coloured with a red overlay. So I think that works pretty well. House of Illusion. Again, very basic little build in the early days when I came to the uh, SomniumSpace.com back in November 2018. And it's got little uh, observational things which uh, create uh, an optical illusion. These squares seem to bow outwards because of the lines but they're not they're all absolutely perfectly square this is a uh, hollow concrete pillar if you like or post but because of the way the camera has taken the shot it looks like in actual fact there's a pyramid of stone on the top of the plinth but it's not you're actually seeing the crease there running down inside the pillar but again as i say an optical illusion this one here looks like the face of an ogre, complete with his ears and things like that. Eyes, his hook, teeth there. And the other way up looks like a guy in a hat and a jacket with braces kneeling down and the heels of his boots showing there. So just a simple optical illusion. But again, just a very simple thing on a small build uh, or a small plot that uh, you can make same again for this one this is another little plot just uh, literally created as a place of relaxation on a small plot so 150 point plot and uh, built a little local place with some benches and bits and bobs looking out over the water karaoke bar now oh, this one was the gentleman said, well, I'm not going to be able to build anything on my plot for a while. Would anybody like to do it? 
So I said, yeah, I'll throw a bill together for you. What would you like? Um, and he said, oh, I know I fancy doing a karaoke bar. So I said, okay. So that's what I built him. We got seating all the way around the inside, a few tables with chairs as well, little floodlights. We've got four floodlights pointing down to the microphone there in the center. A small media screen there. I've shrunk it down so they can run their songs there with their text. And whoever's singing can uh, obviously follow the karaoke lines. That little black box there on the other side of it, there's a load of colored lenses. So it's like having footlights in front of your stage. There's a bar at the side complete with pumps and bottle bank at the back there various bits and bobs drinks up on shelves promotional literature on the outside and within promotional imagery and the gentleman's contact details for discord if you actually want to book it for you and some friends to go along and have a karaoke night so uh, and this you can see is very close to town so uh, short couple of minute walk out of town and you'll be at the plot so fabulous stuff love it so again happy happy clients i don't mind happy clients now this is a big one for you uh, i'll whiz through it because there's a lot here um i used to be a london tour guide um before i was a carer for my wife so um what i do i actually created loads of pictures from uh, various locations online showing and promoting uh, the main sort of tourist areas of london and uh, compiled them onto boards and I now do a walking London tour by taking you along these boards one by one and giving you all the history of the various articles on those boards. So uh, you can have a complete tour of London from your armchair, wherever you are in the world. Um, and down as well. This is an earlier image I've, that was uh, Chinatown. Um, I think I've now got the Cutty Sark down there actually now. But uh, this is the build I made outside three large wings and I was in this wing just on Thursday because every Thursday night in Somnium Space I do a little London tour depending on how many people are there whether it's a full tour uh, about an hour and a half or whether it's uh, just a little snippet tour like half hour 40 minutes something like that um, but um, I spent best part of an hour in that wing alone on Thursday and I've still got two other wings so you could imagine you could have a good two maybe even a three hour tour around my museums with myself and uh, another viewpoint of them now up in the upper floors i've got sun decks so once you've walked around the museum if you want to you can come up here and relax chat with your friends and look out over the world of somnium space the southern wing i think has all the sofas and things the northern wing has all the chairs again you look out over bits and bobs around the world so stunning views of the mountains there in the distance you can walk to those might take you about 20 minutes but you can actually walk this is the beauty of an open world a persistent world it's stunning you're not jumping into a VR world that's confined with whatever say one big box um, and that's as far as you can go I mean our world is six kilometers of open ground so it's uh, an absolute huge world you literally walk between the builds and uh, this is a more uh, a later um, imagery of what i've got upstairs with the signage the ramp to the upper floor put a promotional plate there because on this wall i've got data bursts you can come around this side and walk into one of the chambers and there's um, a media board there you click on that and it will give you a blast of data about say piccadilly circus or big ben um things like that so uh you don't have to actually have me there all the time running the tours you can go and visit one of the media centers in the museums lovely stuff i just like very popular and just recently of course i put the uh, victory in europe celebration um board up 2020 from 1945 70 75 years something like that carpeting so uh on a more of an aerial view 
of the museum builds again on the large island and more mountains in the background now my good lady as i said i am a carer for her and uh, she's unfortunately uh, quite bad um, she has lots of anxiety and panic attacks and things like that and it causes blackouts um, and uh, when she does come around she comes around blind um, uh, because the blood pressure has dropped quite dramatically so uh, it's quite scary at times for uh, myself seeing her like that but obviously for her going through it I mean it's not nice but to give her focus to try and stop her having these panic attacks she buys these beautiful ornate pictures and then colors them in so if you imagine all of this as black and white then that's what it starts with and then she sits there hour after hour coloring these in to give them some sort of uh, bringing brought to life I've got a little information board there up in her little gallery in world to show people about it and um, the colors that these uh, pictures have just amaze me how she overlays these colors the she just I don't know it's not just like yellow and green leaves say you know she brings in reds and purples and lime greens and blues and oh wow she has such an eye for color she really does and uh, they are stunning images and I've recently this is why this one's on a parky backboard frame um, made this one an NFT so people can actually buy that uh, for their home in the world and um, put that up on the boards so uh, you can see that as an NFT and uh, the gallery by night so yeah beautiful little gallery there just to uh, promote my good ladies artwork this is another sort of design I've come up with for people um, it's one of my own plots it's an oriental garden and uh, with the uh, large flowers here we have koi in the lake a little red wood build for both the parky um, pagoda style and the uh, redwood footbridge over the river or the pond in this case and um, again people absolutely adore this they come into it and they can relax and chill out very peaceful it's one of my ad boards there for my Thursday London tours but you're seeing if you're looking at all this information you're saying oh, well yeah this could be a yeah, interesting thing that I can get involved with you know please please do do come to the world of somnium space.com you'll be surprised what you can build here and if of course you want me to build something for you well then this is obviously a great showcase you can see just some of the sort of builds that I've done uh, a buddy of mine used to be part of the Queen's Regiment and uh, great guy he's one of our fellow community managers here I'm one as well uh, and his goes by the name of Palamedes and um, he uh, wanted something to complement a little museum that he's going to do all about the Queen's Regiment so I made like a little tea room <laughs> and promoted there with uh, some of their battles etc and the faces of the trailer have lots of information all about the Queen's Regiment and here and there there's little cups there look still filled with tea where have they gone it will go cold but <laughs> so little tables and sort of benches etc and they can all stand around there meet up with their army buddies and the Queen's Regiment little tea room promotional board there for people that are promoting my museums and things so I'm promoting their business for them as well on a couple of my plots to uh, help them out so where are we that one there this is my space house uh, a lot of people believe we went to uh, the moon in 69 the Apollo 11 mission and obviously the prior Apollo 8 going round the orbiting of the moon I personally don't think we did um, and so I built like a little space house with loads of images that NASA have up on their various website and um, I have great discussions with guys no not arguments just discussions and uh, we have a little chat about you know why I think there's no way that you know these photos could have been taken with a camera that had no protection against radiation and things like that uh, the old uh, exochrome film 
would not last into 150 degrees plus or minus 250 degrees in the shade. It would have just crumpled and burnt or whatever, or whatever crumpled and frosted out and uh, snapped. Um, the cameras were run by two little Varta batteries. You know, you're trying to tell me two little Diddy Varta batteries could withstand that sort of heat or cold and still work perfectly. You know, and, uh, phew, there's lots of questions in my mind. But anyway, we have some brilliant discussions <laughs> in uh, in the space house all about uh, different ideas and the van allen belt and things like that so uh, that's in weld as well so uh, another fun build if you love strange but true facts pop into somnium space and come visit this little build here it's not too far from the town town's over here it's a short walk a couple of minutes and uh, you can come in the door down there and then on all these cubes, I've got strange but true facts. So I've researched an awful lot and compiled piles and piles of facts. And um, I've put them all over the cube. So day or night, you'll be able to see one particular face of the cube, which will be lit by the interior lighting. And uh, you can have a look at uh, loads of facts. Oh, there's one. Um, I think it's in the Bahamas. There's an island there that has no human population. But it has swimming pigs. How about that? Swimming pigs as a population. Um, and it's an island. I think it's off the Bahamas, if my memory serves me right. And I thought, what a weird fact. But uh, there you go. So there's the town again. You see, it's so close. And um, so I thought I'd pop a load of these facts together and uh, compile it and pop it into a display piece there. So as I say, if you're looking here at different types of builds, you know, there's loads of them. You can literally have a little, you know, build to your heart's content. Whatever you want to design, um, you can uh, have fun with. Again, another one of my gallery builds. I had this in yellow and black to start with and brown woods. And I was putting in plinths and things to put pieces on. And uh, another view of it. And then someone came along to me and basically said, oh, can I make use of your gallery? I said, yeah, I haven't really put anything in it at the moment. Can you put all my NFTs? So he gave me some like 60 odd NFTs over to my MetaMask account, which if you don't know what that is, do have a look at that. M-E-T-A, MetaMask. And uh, you can have all your NFTs and your land that you buy at Somnium sent to that. And then when you come into Somnium space, it will automatically find your MetaMask account. Once you assign it um, to your actual login account of Somnium space, then um, it will find that for you and give you all your land and uh, promote anything there that you have in your mask account. And you can upload it into World as I've done. He sent me most of his NFTs he wanted and then... I changed all the color scheme of the gallery and put his pieces of artwork on these brick backdrops and uh, mounted them in the gallery. So, lovely piece of work that. And uh, I was trying different textures out on the outside, but we went back to just plain black and white. But um, So that's again another type of build you can do. Um, in southwest wales we have a guild hall in our oldest town in wales and um so i was trying to reproduce that uh, a little bit into uh, somnium space again plot i've got very near town and uh, i've put loads of pictures of the old town which is called carmarthen c-a-r-m-a-r carmarthen and um I put pictures all around there and I do little walking tours in there as well, just like my London museums to give you all the history of one of the oldest towns in Wales. Um, this is the fourth of the four plots that the gentleman wanted. Here was the business meet. Here was the German garden. Here is the art gallery. So this little group of four. And here is a job centre so that people, when they develop their businesses in Somnium space, uh, they can employ people and uh, help them run their business. And you can actually earn real money from this. So um, very, very useful uh, for businesses that want to do that, want to hire people. And uh, so this company said, well, maybe if I have a job center, 
people can come here and register their jobs with these computer terminals here I've put in and uh, or they can chat with the managers of companies here in the relaxing area um, they want to use the job center as a sort of an open day they can invite people to so meet them here at the job center at 10 o'clock and they can all go upstairs and there is a row of interview rooms each side with waiting areas with couches here and uh, they can then interview their prospective employees um, in the upstairs offices and that's the job center so another build for this client so four Excel plots that uh, they can make use of again I put the leather overlay there on the white sofas to make it look a little bit more professional and again upstairs so you can make a heck of a lot of stuff with just the basic builder the library you've seen the mesh there um, and uh, you can do quite involved designs as well I mean simple blue tower with some ramps around it no hardship this here took me nearly three hours to make it was a huge mesh design um, and they were all made out of a cube shape a bit like a standard dice um, or die and um, by squashing it flat narrowing squashing it flat narrowing blah 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 blah, blah I created these really long stretched lines which were effectively oblongs they were just little cubes that then were stretched really long 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 and then squeezed really small uh, to be narrow diameter and then I literally laid them diagonally across the box of framework that I'd set up and then once all these are in place I then created some more individual ones to create the sort of fan effect but that was alone two and a half to three hours work so uh, phenomenal these are columns that we've adjusted the size of flattened out stretched out to create the corner pieces which makes this quite an iconic build and I've got some of this sort of fence work around the edge now as well leaving the far end open so that you can come in and start coming up all the ramps inside the upper floor is a sort of a bedroom with tables and a carpet downstairs a sort of an office so here we have and you can see the shadows most brilliant with the dynamic lighting as the sun's moving across the sky and these shadows move you know across the other side that's it brilliant it's a fabulous world guys you really do need to come and explore it uh, this is the mini gallery this chap that I built the big gallery for and changed it to black and white um, I was running out of space to put all these images <laughs> so I created on one of my small plots a, like a little mini gallery so uh, he's got more of his NFTs there inside the little mini gallery chocolate brown leather there and those sofas and stuff so that's a balance of some of those images for all you Doctor Who fans well I built a TARDIS little ramp in on the ground floor to have a look got to have the TARDIS parking area here you know no more free space parking for the TARDIS only again not too far from the water's edge that was another old build of mine since gone that's now the little mini gallery but that was uh, promoting my fishing channel because I do a lot of freshwater fishing when I can my good lady likes to come with me and sit on the bank helps her stay relaxed and stuff and uh, I do a bit of fishing at a local lake and uh, so I promote uh, freshwater fishing carp fishing um, with uh, new fishermen and uh, that's my little promotional uh, hut you might say to do the novice angler which is my channel and you'll see me there in YouTube here's a visual script system I put in allows us to travel up and down promoting my London tours on a Thursday as you go in when you go inside you've got K9 the faithful hound to the doctor and a range of the doctors there's some more out of shot here to the right and this range of doctors now doctor who and of course you've got to have some of the monsters up there the adversaries that the doctor had to face the tea room 
well, I'm a true Brit. You've got to have a tea room, haven't you, somewhere in the world? So uh, that's my Bayside tea room. Tables, chairs. Um, and I took triangular cone shapes and then squished them flat and then laid them at an angle. And that gives it some, something different on the actual view when you see from the other side. And uh, tabletop area as well, looking out over the bay. Uninterrupted views. We've got some builds over here to the right which have come in since and again to the left but from looking at an angle you can look straight out to the bay so you'll be seeing all the boats going backwards and forwards and the kayaks people paddling away and I've got some more of my wife's art up here within the tea room one of my pieces again the villa this is again right on the water's edge. I made this in the early days of joining Somnium Space. And uh, it's a sort of a slate stone covering. But um, gives you just again an idea of what you can do with this builder. It's a brilliant little builder. And you can do so much with it. And uh, this villa and the land actual fact is currently up for sale uh, with a teleporter now these are things we have in the world which allows you to walk into press a button and then go to another teleporter in world and we've got them all been handed out to the various people who have them now it's just a question of getting them networked into the world so that you can walk in and out of these teleporters and then jump to another part of the map because to go from one end of the map to the other it's got to be a good half an hour walk um, currently if you walk around the edge of the map to see the entire maximum of the map that's two hours just to walk around the edge of it um, that's without stopping off to explore people's builds so give you an idea it's huge it's a huge world um, and uh, it's not as I said earlier not like just jumping into a room and having 40 people there it looks busy you put 40 people here they could be all over the map you're just not gonna see you know anybody probably for half an hour <laughs> you might just suddenly bump into someone um, or someone calls to you from halfway up the mountain you know I can see you down there um, so uh, yeah fabulous fabulous place and say 5,000 plots of land um, available for grabs I think we've sold or I think in the area of about 1800 um, there's over 500 landowners now so uh, give you an idea it's really really expanding and going nuts and uh, we're building the community right now so more and more people are coming in every day I think I'm not wrong in saying I think it was February I think of this year 2020 um, that um, we had 1400 downloads of our client in one day so give you an idea how popular it's getting um, it's absolutely huge um, some uh, little bit of a glass top table inside looking out across the bay at some of the other builds that's my build as well it's a little couple of uh, properties you can use as a home there so I've got two houses there built into the one and here's to finish up a couple of quick images of a Tudor home that I had down on the bay this is now where the convention center is that I started with um, but um, I like sort of building and knocking down and building and knocking down just seeing what I can come up with and uh, to show you guys if you're interested in hiring me as a builder that's fine um, or just having a look at what you can do with the builder so uh, there you go so if you're still with me thanks very much for watching I do hope you've uh, seen some of the wonderful things that you can make with the builder insomniumspace.com or if you've been looking at this location for some of my builds then um, you can uh, certainly say you've only seen a smattering and um, just come have a chat with me and uh, we'll get together and I'll see what I can build for you. Thanks for watching.